Okay, so welcome everybody. Um, so given that I've seen a whole bunch of people trying to play with deep networks, and not just in the room, but probably also the people who are still asleep and will be watching the video in a few hours or maybe tomorrow, a quick public service announcement. Um, don't use MATLAB. Um, don't try implementing a deep networks library from scratch unless you have a very, very, very specific reason why you absolutely have to do that. Um, instead, there's a couple of pretty good libraries out there that you should look at. And um, let me go through them in, well, some arbitrary order. Um, so the first one is called Torch. So, to okay, sorry. Uh, well, okay, let me try black. Maybe black works. Okay, good. So Torch is good if you like to write in some weird Lisp-like version called Lua. This is the language in which you specify the models. And it's a fairly integrated way. Um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but there's a lot of actually use of that in industry. Um, so you should use Torch, and you should use all the Facebook extensions to Torch if you want to use that. Um, the next one is called Theano. Um, this is essentially a University of Montreal thing. It's a compiler, and you first specify things in a Python-like framework, and then you compile it down, and it's supposed to be good, except that it's not quite that fast. So Torch is faster, quite a bit faster, so I'm not sure I would recommend it, but the basic idea, I think, is very neat. Um, then there's something called Cafe. NVIDIA likes that a lot. This is basically out of UC Berkeley. If you're looking at convolutional networks, uh, this is a pretty good library. Um, it does multi-GPU. It doesn't do multi-machine. Actually, none of them does. Um, so this is essentially C++, and you can specify layers. It's actually a pretty nice library. OK. Um, then. There is something called Minerva. Which I think is actually one of the nicest ones right now out there. Um, it's still a little bit early quality, but it's a very, very good team out of Shanghai that's working on this. Um, you program either in C++ or Python. I think they're pushing more their Python interface. In spirit, it's a little bit closer to Theano, except that it's way faster. A um, couple of other things. If you do deep networks, you do need to have a GPU. right? Um, so if you are planning on doing deep networks and you don't have a GPU, um, you should talk to your friendly advisor and ask them, hey, can you buy me one? So the one you should be asking for is something like a GTX 970. And you probably better ask for an additional power supply for that too. So you'll need at least an extra 150 watts to 200 watts for the power supply for the 970. It costs around $350, and it will probably do for the model that you're going to work on in class. If you're really, really poor, and you don't like to play computer games or whatever after that, um, you could look, pr maybe make do with a GTX 750. And that costs around $150, and you will not need a big power supply. Um, the 750 is, well, maybe about between half and 2 thirds the speed, but the catch is it has less memory. By the way, you should also realize that all of those are mostly decent for single precision, double precision, well, good luck. If you absolutely must have double precision, you should probably go and use something called G2 
dot 2x large, which is an Amazon instance. And so it's basically, so Amazon lets you use GPUs. Those things are extremely expensive by the hour, as in we're talking like $2 or so, uh, or maybe a dollar. I forgot the exact numbers, but it's kind of on the pricey side. However, if you go and book it as a spot instance, you will get that for pennies. You'll probably get it for about six, seven cents an hour. If you don't know what Amazon spot instances are, now is a really good time to learn about how they work. Okay. Um, so there are plenty of tutorials on how to use them online. Read them up. The other thing is Amazon will give you about, I think, $100 of free compute time. You can get more free compute time on Google and Microsoft, but they don't have GPUs, so it's kind of not so useful for you. Okay. Of course, you can also shop around and find out whether somebody else in your lab is doing deep networks, and you can then go and use their hardware and their infrastructure. If you're utterly desperate, talk to me. We have stuff. Uh, but that's stuff for my students, and they're actually pretty much hammering the machines anyway. So if I give you access, that means that yeah, my students will have less access to it, right? So if you're desperate, talk to me. Other than that, you should talk to your advisor first, and you should try getting this. Um, the other thing that you could do, and it may be a little bit late, but you could send a nice and friendly letter to NVIDIA. And you tell them, well, look, I'm working on such and such a problem, and GPUs are really awesome. Would you please send me a K40? And if you write a really nice letter, they will actually send it to you. Uh, the catch is that you'll probably need a decent machine to put it in, right? So you need proper power supplies and all that. Again, if you're stuck there, talk to me. Maybe something can be arranged. The problem is, this has a lead time of up to a month, so it may not be in time for your project. Whereas if you order stuff on Newegg, it'll probably show up in about three, four days. If you need computer cases with a 450 watts power supply such that you can drive one GPU, I have spare ones up in my lab, you can grab one. As in, you can grab it and keep it. Okay. <coughs> Good. So that's as far as deep networks are concerned. Um, make sure you got your hardware sorted out immediately. Don't write the stuff on your own in MATLAB unless you are in it for the learning experience of writing this all from scratch. It's painful, so don't. Okay. Any questions on that so far? We'll be doing deep networks later in this class, just not right now yet. Good. Well, then we can wrap up uh, Gaussian processes by looking at Gaussian process classification. And yeah, then we'll finish. Okay, and then.